Okay, so this is a difficult setup for a date for a data sufficiency question and a speed distance time question. There's also a conversion involved, which makes it tough. But I want you to recognize that there are two statements and only one question stem. And I could convert both the statements to look like meters, but it's going to be easier for me to convert the question stem once to look like minutes so that I can quickly compare it to both of the statements. Now, the way in which we're going to do this is we're going to pretend that we are driving exactly 90 meters, and we're gonna say, how long would it take to do that at the speed that we know we're traveling at, which is 120 centimeters per second. So I'm trying to figure out minutes. I need time to be on top, which means of the two pieces of info I have right here, the only one with time is seconds. So I need one second over 120 centimeters as my first fraction in the conversion. Now I'm gonna multiply that by 90 meters so that I can cross cancel the distance units. But I can't cross cancel centimeters and meters. I need to also convert these original centimeters to meters first. So I need to cross multiply by centimeters over meters, 100 centimeters per meter. Now I have meters on top, meters on bottom, those cancel. Centimeters on top, centimeters on bottom, those cancel. And now I'm left with just seconds, but I want minutes. So I need to multiply by 60 seconds on the bottom so it cross cancels versus one minute on the top. And I cross out seconds, seconds, and I'm left with just minutes, which is what I wanted all along. So now we have 90 times 100 minutes over 120 times 60 with no units left on the bottom. And if we simplify this, um, I know that 90 and 60 are both divisible by 30. So I'm going to knock out at 30 there and there, and that's going to give me 3 over 2. And then I'm going to knock, uh, let's see, 100 and 120 are both divisible by 20. So this would become six and this would become five. And now I know that three and six are divisible by three. So I'm going to cross out this three versus that and I get a two. So now I have two times two on the bottom and five on top. So I have five fourths minutes, which is equal to 1.25 minutes. So if I drove exactly 90 meters at this speed, it would take me 1.25 minutes. So if I know that I drove for longer, I know that I would have gone further than 90 meters. And if I know I drove for less time, then I know I would definitely not cover 90 meters, I would cover less distance. Well, statement one tells me I covered less distance because I drove for less time. For sure I drove for less than 1.25, so this is sufficient. Statement two, on the other hand, tells me I drove for longer than 1.1 minutes. I could have driven for 1.11 minutes. I could have driven for 1.5 minutes. And this would answer the question in two different ways. So this is insufficient. Statement one is sufficient. That's our answer. Answer choice A. Just remember, convert the question stem to look like the statements in this situation. Save yourself twice save yourself half the work you would have done otherwise, get it done twice as fast. And when you're doing your conversions, just focus on what unit am I trying to end in? Minutes, that's a time unit. I need time to be on top and I'm gonna cross cancel meters and centimeters in some way on the bottom and top.